hi everyone and welcome in this video we are going to cover the getting started guide for electro crow panel esp32 7 inch hmi display with arduino ide and lvgl demo example now here you can see on the camera i have this esp32 7 inch hmi display from electro okay now we can program this using micropython platform io Arduino IDE okay and in this video we are going to cover the getting started guide that how you can program this using Arduino IDE software and we are going to upload the square line studio LVGL example in this and we will see that okay so first of all we have to set up the Arduino IDE so we can program this display so for that you have to download few things you have to modify few things in the Arduino IDE so we are going to cover all of those things step by step so first of all you have to open the Arduino IDE okay now here is the complete new sketch in the Arduino IDE now we will go to the board section so here you can see boards manager and in the boards manager we are going to search for ESP32 now if you want to program electro crow panel ESP32 7 inch HMI display then in the boards manager in the ESP32 board you have to install the version 2.0.6 if you install any other version of ESP32 board, then this might not work. Okay, so this is mandatory that you have to install 2.0.6 ESP32 board version, which I have already mentioned in my GitHub repository. Okay, so if you are going to work with the Electro Crow Panel ESP32 7-inch HMI display, then this is the version you have to install. And also I have mentioned that on our website now if you want to visit this github repository link then here is the link okay if you want to buy the product then here is the link so you will be navigated to this page and if you want to read the documentation then here is the link to read the documentation now once you set up the boards in the arduino ide you have to set up the library now here is the library manager section but we are not going to install any library from here so here on the website you can see i have provided the link to download the library so you just have to click here okay and your download will start i have already downloaded this one and it is available on my desktop so let me show you that so here it is zip file and here i have extracted it now once you open the extracted folder you will have another folder which is 7.0 okay and if you open that folder then you will have the entire library so what you have to do is you have to copy this okay and you have to paste all of this folder to arduino library folder now where is the arduino library folder so in your documents you have the arduino folder and inside the arduino folder you have libraries folder okay there might be some library installed here okay but you have to ignore that and you have to copy the entire content from the downloaded library folder to here okay so here you can see we are copying all of the content from libraries folder to Arduino libraries folder and once you copy this you can close all of the folders now our Arduino IDE is ready to program our ESP32 7 inch HMI display okay so I hope you got it what you have to do you first of all open the arduino ide then you can search for esp32 in the boards manager you have to install esp32 board by express if system and you have to install version 2.0.6 now you have to minimize the uh, arduino ide you have to visit our website and here is the libraries link which you have to click and once you click here your library download will start and you can extract that and zip file okay and uh, inside the zip file you will have the 7.0 folder and you have to copy the entire content of the 7.0 folder to arduino libraries folder now here you can see we have already copied it so our library setup is done now what you have to do is you have to navigate to the wiki page okay so here you can click on the wiki and you can navigate to the wiki page and uh, here you can scroll down and here you can go for getting started with Arduino IDE. Now here uh, in the table of content, you will have one option upload the code. Now once you click on the upload the code, you will have setting which you have to kept in the tools menu. So you have to select the board ESP32S3 development module. You have to select flash size 4MB 
partition scheme ujpp and psram opi psram okay so this is the thing you have to select and uh, you can upload the code from your arduino ide now i'm going to open one example so i'm going to open my local github uh, folder embedded devices electro 7 inch panel and uh, demo examples and square line example and here i'm going to open this square line example dot ino now once you open the uh, square line examples okay in your arduino id what you have to do is you have to press the boot button in your uh, 7 inch display okay and then you have to plug that display with your system okay here you can see led is on means power is on now i'm going to release the boot button that's it our screen is now in the boot mode and here you can see esp32 s3 development module is available and it is already selected now what we have to do is we have to select this options in the tools menu so tools and uh, board is already selected esp32 s3 development module now flash size 4 mb is already selected and partition scheme huge app 3 mb no ota 1 mb spi ffs is already selected psram opi psram that's it now this code is already um, without error okay so you can go for compile and if you don't want to go for compile then you can directly hit the upload button so i have hit the upload button now uh, it will automatically compile okay once you hit the upload button and then it will transfer to our esp32 hmi display so now let's wait for compile and upload okay done uploading and here you can see square line studio demo now here you can see this is the clock okay now you can slide and here you can see another page this entire uh, system is designed in the square line studio software so that's why we call it square line example okay this is the chat this is the music player example and here we have the uh, dashboard of weather and then alarms okay so you can turn on the alarms you can turn off the alarms okay as it's a touch screen you can do that and then after again clock okay so this is the one of the example available for this 7 inch hmi display now we are going to uh, load another example so here is another example crow panel esp32 7.0.ino and this example uh, is used with the DHT11 sensor as well as LED. I don't have anything as of now, so I'm going to directly upload this example in our ESP32 display. So, ESP32S3 development module we have to select, COM5, okay. In the tools, you have to select flash size 4MB, PSRAM, OPI PSRAM, partition scheme huge APP, okay. Now that's it, I can click on the upload. okay so this is the example from electro okay to show the temperature and, and humidity data on the screen from dht 11 sensor and here is the on and off button to turn on and off the led so let me connect the led with it okay so we have connected the led now i am pressing the on okay here you can see led is on here i can press off and led is off okay on and off so you can also control the external world using your screen okay as well as you can also read the sensor data but i don't have uh, dht 11 sensor as of now so i'm not going to show that but i can show that we can turn on and off the led from this screen now in the future videos we are going to create our own gui to control the led as well as to read the sensor data as well as we can uh, read the humidity data and we can create the dashboard in this screen.
okay for our mqtt data so if you have any sensor or if you have multiple sensor across multiple locations and if you want to create the dashboard for that then using this esp32 hmi display you can do that so those things we are going to cover in the future videos but this video is mainly focusing on how to getting started with electro crow panel esp32 hmi display okay and uh, the display size is 7 inch and we have successfully uh, set up everything to program this display so we have set up the arduino we have uh, uploaded two examples okay square line studio example and crow panel esp32 7.0 example to read the humidity and temperature data on the screen and to control the led from screen okay now let's meet in the future videos with more example okay on this electro crow panel esp32 7 inch hmi display till then take care goodbye and thank you